gentlemen, and welcome to the Lake Show here at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase tonight. Very special guest, Kevin Zioli. Where is it? As always, we ask that your table conversation be kept to a minimum throughout the show, but right now, let's make as much of those as we can for your host and MC tonight, Melvin Williams. Getting up that first two. Yes, keep it going. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? Everybody feeling good, right? Yeah. Michigan 3 and 0, we're doing yes. U of M, yes. Make some noise for it. Yeah. Yes, indeed, man. I'm doing okay. How you doing, son? You all right? I'm all right. Small man, right there. That's my play cousin. My play cousin, right there. That's serious shit, right there, just so y'all know. In our community, in the black community, like when somebody calls you your play cousin, am I right? Hey, shit, that, hey. That's the highest form of flattery right now. If somebody say, hey, I love you like a play cousin, dog. Hey, that's serious. Love me like a play cousin. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all tonight. I mean, keep in mind, think about it, think about it. There's some real cousins that you don't really deal with that much. Am I right, sir? There's some real ones you don't really talk to every day and all that, but you will slap the shit out of somebody over one of your play cousins, won't you? Am I lying? You damn right. Hey, play, that's serious, man. Love me like a play cousin tonight. All y'all are my play cousins. How about that? That's right. I see y'all still trying to get used to it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. We celebrate anything tonight? We celebrate anybody? Yeah. Birthdays? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Birthdays? Anybody? Birthday. That's what I'm talking birthday. about. Well, hey, what a coincidence because it is my birthday as well. September 23rd. Next in North. Oh, yeah. We yeah. was in the house. Yes, indeed, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's funny though, I remember when you were young, like you, like when you were young, you loved for your birthday to be coming. I'm like, yay, my birthday's yeah. tomorrow, yay. I'm gonna be 15, yay. <laughs> shit, not when you pass 30. When you pass 30, it's a different thing. Oh, you be like, oh shit, my motherfucking birthday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday's tomorrow. I hope don't nobody know. I hope no one knows. Oh shit, that's right, it's on Facebook. It's on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny about that? People trying to act like they knew it was your birthday and they, and they didn't get the reminder. They're like, happy birthday, Melvin, enjoy your day. I'm like, some bitch, you knew damn well you didn't know it was my birthday. I'm not gonna hear from you again until next year when they give you the reminder, you know what I mean? It's hilarious, man, yeah, yeah. Things start changing though, once you, once you get older, man. 34 today, man. Things start getting, get, the fellas, am I right? They start changing. Shit with your body, like, body don't digest shit. You know where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I used to be able to drink the hell out of some milk. I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> Key word in that sentence, used. I, I used to be able to. Oh, man, I used to be able to drink a gallon of milk in a day. It wasn't nothing. I drank a whole gallon of milk in one day. Shit. Not now. <laughs> don't know, me and milk no longer have a relationship like that. We're no longer friends. A gallon of milk? Shit. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, if I have a half a cup of milk right now, I'll clear this entire comedy club out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am not a nice person to be around if I have some milk, I'm telling you. Oh, no. Don't let it be no chocolate milk. Oh, hell no, hell no. <laughs> hell no. I'll ruin these pants fucking around with some chocolate milk, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. You gotta throw these away, yes. And not in the inside trash, not in the house trash. You gotta take them up into that big trash outside. Because you gotta shoot a basket in. <laughs> Shit, get rid of them. Get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Another thing they say to change once you get older, like, you know, your sex life. Sex life change, like, you know, your sex drive. They say your sex drive start going down, fellas, once you get older. Is that true, fellas? No. Exactly. No. exactly. <laughs> I don't know what the hell they was talking about. Whoever they is, I don't know what the hell they was talking about. There ain't nothing wrong with my sex drive. Shit. I'll still drive somewhere right now for some sex, won't you? Drive. <laughs> I'll drive to DC right now if I get the right text message, won't you? You ever got that text message where you're like, oh shit, for real? Like, I'm on my way. Exclamation point, sin, sin, sin. Shit. Yes, indeed. Ain't nothing wrong with me. Mm -mm. <laughs> One thing like has changed, though, I'll keep it real. One thing has changed now that I've gotten older, you know, as far as sex and everything. I remember when I used to be like you little young, some of the young whippersnappers in here. You know how the fellas are, ladies. They try to brag like, yeah, I'm going to break your back tonight. 
<laughs> I'm going to break you off something. I'm going to tear that up. Okay. <laughs> I used to be like that. <laughs> but, hey, when you get old and old shit, hey, shit like that changes. Hey, hey, complete and utter honesty is the way I go nowadays. Yeah. I go in the room right now like, look, sweetie, I'm going to do the best that I can. <laughs> that's it. I'm going to give you the best that I got. That's, that's it. You know what I'm saying? If you're, if you're satisfied, hey, awesome. Awesome. If not, then you might have to go call one of the other guys. I mean, I'm not worried about that. Hey, shit, I didn't satisfy <laughs> you. You know, you know if a woman is satisfied too, what would she do? What would she do? She'll go right to sleep, won't you? She'll cut her right up next to you and go to sleep. On the other hand, though, you know if she's not satisfied, what she do? She get her cell phone, go to the other room, won't she? Go to the other room. <laughs> come back five minutes later, lying her ass off too. Like, yeah, uh, my mother need me to come over and help her clean these greens real quick. And help clean these. You like clean green two o'clock in the morning? Yeah, that's the best time to clean them. My mama said. My mama said. No, you lying. You talking about your mama said? Oh, you lying. You lying. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm telling you, what else is going on in the world, man? Shit, these gas prices kicking y'all butt like they kicking mine. Oh man, Gee, these gas prices. I realized something. I realized something. It's a personal observation. I realized the gas gas prices have made me like a worse guy. Like I'm I'm ter I'm, I'm a terrible. I'm like a jerk now because of gas prices. Yeah. No, I mean, I used, I used to, when gas prices were manageable, I would just, you know, somebody asked me, hey, Mel, run me around the corner real quick. Oh, sure, of course. Run me around the corner. Shit. If they gave me some gas money, it was okay. Not nowadays. Mm -mm. I got to have gas money just for you to look at my car. As soon as you look at it, like, I need gas money. Just to sit in my car. That's it. Like, yo, hell no, I'm not taking, I won't take a some bitch from here to right here unless I get gas money. You feel me? It's just. It's just not gonna happen. I can't, I can't. Gas money is serious, man. Hell yeah, man. What else, man? You love your family? I love my family. I like, I live in Atlanta now, but I'm from Ann Arbor. From Ann Arbor, so I like to come home and hang out with my family. Woo! Yes, yes. yes. Round of applause for Ann Arbor. Yes. Yeah, I, I love my family. Uh, not all of them, though. Not all of them. <laughs> I can't stand them family members that, you know, feel, I know, I know this has happened to you guys too. I hate those family members that feel compelled if they haven't seen you in a while. They feel compelled, like, like to, to come up to you and like tell this random embarrassing story about you. Some shit you trying to forget. Anybody ever know you hate that? You know what I'm saying? And they come up to you like, hey, man, what's going on, baby? What's going on? Like, hey, how you doing, Uncle Peter? Everything good? Like, yeah, man, it's good, man. I ain't seen you in a while. How long has it been? Oh, yeah, it's been about five years, maybe five years. Yeah, 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 man, it's been a while. We was at Cedar Point last time. We got a, yeah, yeah, I think it was Cedar Point. Uh, that's when he go in. Like, yeah, I remember we was in the bathroom, and you flushed that toilet, and that piss shot all up in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Standing there like, damn, Uncle Peter, you had to go there? Like, that's the best story you have for us to reconnect right now? <laughs> Uncle Peter don't be done either. He like elaborates on the story. Like, yeah, man. Like, that shit got all in your mouth. You had, to... <laughs> you had to walk around Cedar Point with that pissy shirt on. And... <laughs> I remember. I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> you standing there like, motherfucker, I had to go through counseling for that. Why would you, <laughs> Why would you bring that up? <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Man, what else is going on, man? I uh, been trying to trying to do a couple other things, kind of trying to branch out a little bit. I'm going to auditions, man. I got this, got this audition. Where I'm, you know, sing some jingle, like commercial jingles. Anybody know the commercial? You know, like by men, and you know that kind of shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you know, I've been trying to like practice on this jingle, man. You kind of, you know, I want, maybe y'all can help me out. I can kind of sing it for you guys, because the guy told me he said, hey, if you're gonna try to get this thing, you have to go. In. You have to go at it. You have to. You have to be very, very good. You have to like tear it up in order to get this audition. So, will y'all help me out? Can I sing it for you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all help me out? Gotta get my get my singing voice together. <laughs> All right, y'all let me know. Because right after I get done singing this, I mean, they say you guys are supposed to like crave the product. So, let me know if you want. Can okay, check it out. The day's looking new and bright. You're gonna start it right. Fold you're starting to brew. The mountain grown aromas calling you. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Nice. I say the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Tell me you don't want a hot steam to cook right now. Tell, tell me everybody here you don't want a hot steam.
spin you a couple folders right now. Just like you like it, hot, black, and then your favorite coffee mug is over the crack in it. Tell me you don't know. You're damn right. I just might get it. I just might get it. Y'all ready for a good night of comedy? Make some noise. Make some noise. A couple of announcements before we get started. You guys all have these comment cards on your uh, table. Please do me a favor and fill those out and make sure that you give them to the wait staff. Make sure that you give them to the wait staff so they can actually get them and uh, we can kind of see what it is that you guys, how you guys are feeling about the club. Other than that, everything is ready to go, man. You guys are ready to go. I'm ready to go, having a good time on my birthday. This first comedian up, very, very funny brother. He rocked the show earlier. Very, very funny guy. I want y'all to give it up. I forgot where he said he was from, but he's done uh, Carnival Cruise. <laughs> he, he's done the Carnival Cruise Line. He's also opened up for the great Dan Cook. Y'all give it up for Mr. Dan oh, yeah. Kepper. <laughs> Thank you guys. Keep it going, Penelope. Keep it going for us.